CDS4.com. Welcome back. You're about to meet a young woman who was in a car accident 15 years ago that took away her ability to walk, but not her spirit nor her drive. She is committed to finding a cure for paralysis through stem cell research. Here's her story and the path that she took from accident victim to advocate. Are always trying to relate to me. Sabrina Cohen was 14 and on her way to a party, but she never made it. Her teen driver decided to drag race. He hit a tree and the impact left Sabrina paralyzed. It's been 16 years since the accident took away Sabrina's ability to walk, but it didn't take away her hope that one day she would regain that ability. I'm ready to go so for that. For Sabrina, the hope lies in stem cell research. The Bush administration has restricted the use of federal funds for stem cell research. So Sabrina tried funding her own research through private donations. She's also raising awareness through events, t-shirt sales, even stand-up comedy. So, people, check this out. In case of a fire, I cannot use the stairs. So, I mean, Advocacy has gained national attention, even attracting celebrities. In 2004, she hosted Michael J. Fox in her Miami Beach home for a press conference bashing the Bush administration's stem cell policy. Sabrina's passion to finance a cure has taken her to the halls of Congress and even the United Nations in New York. Sabrina Cohen joins us this morning, and thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. First of all, are you still doing stand-up com comedy? Mm -hmm. I actually just finished the course a couple of weeks ago, so yes, I am. You must be very hopeful with the change of administration. Under the Bush administration, of course, there were a lot of restrictions placed on stem cell research. Yes, there was. Um, back in 2001, uh, severe restrictions were placed in how much funding could be allocated towards stem cell research. And it was very disappointing to um, American citizens and where this research could go and how much inhibition was placed on the research. So with the new administration, we're very hopeful that uh, the restrictions will be listed. It is um, said that it would be a top priority in the White House um, from the beginning of 09. Do you know what President Obama's position is on stem cell research? Um, he has been in favor of lifting the restrictions for as long as I can remember him speaking out on what he supports. So what do you say to people who are concerned that stem cell research may contribute to the abortions, may contribute to people selling human embryos for research? What do you say to them? I say to them that there's so many guidelines that are taken what in, inside the facilities in the lab, nobody wants to do, no, no doctors want to do reproductive cloning or anything that would make the research, give a bad name to the research. They want to do what is legally ethical and follows those guidelines where proper research will be done to find the results that we're looking for. Tell me about your foundation. Uh, I started the Sabrina Cohen Foundation for Stem Cell Research in January of 2006 to just create an outlet for the public to support this type of research. And I started the organization to use my, you know, with my name, to use my disability as a tool to educate other people. But what I love so much about stem cell research is that it's not only about finding a cure for spinal cord injury, but research in the area of stem cell research could lead to cures for diabetes, heart disease, cancer, over 70 diseases out there and to be able to start a foundation that contribute to research in all areas um, is very inspiring to, to me. Well, what have you seen that the research has accomplished? Uh, not, not paralysis, but maybe some of the diseases you're talking about. Well, right now there's research being done for people that have heart disease, um, lymphoma, leukemias. Uh, I recently spoke with a gentleman who traveled abroad um, who has a spinal cord injury who came back and is now moving his feet. Uh, Crohn's disease, people with ALS. I have a friend who has multiple sclerosis who's had treatment. So there's various forms of treatments out there to date that can be done. Um, there's no quote unquote cures, but there's there's steps that are being taken that can help people get better. And with diabetes and heart disease as well. So and there's many, many breakthroughs on the verge of happening. It's just a matter of time and money, but the possibility is endless. 
and very, very exciting at this time. How many times have you met Michael J. Fox? If he is so committed, another person very committed is Nancy Reagan, the former first lady, has spoken many times about stem cell research. I've met Michael J. Fox twice. Uh, once in 2004 at a front porch event in my home for stem cell research, and in 2006 I met him again in New York for his foundation. Did he do any jokes for you the team? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't, but he's a great, wonderful man who's doing wonderful advocacy work, and he's just a great spokesperson. And uh, he's living with a very serious condition that needs research and funding as well, and he believes in the promise of stem cell research as well. Now, if people want more information about stem cell research, about your foundation, how can they get it? Uh, they can go to www.sabrinacohenfoundation.org, and uh, all my information is there, or they can reach me online at sabrina at sabrinacohenfoundation.org. Sabrina, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Nice meeting you. When we come back, we'll have more questions.